questions. All right. I'm trying to, oops, someone else into this video. Oh, goodness. All right, I'm going to find it. There's one. So what do I do? To add someone in my video. Okay, let's try this frick. All right, so everyone who is at home, I'm trying to FaceTime or whatever, Instagram Live with people and try to get um, some more information um, regarding the coronavirus. Um, I don't know much. I'm trying to get more educated um, because it's getting more real, more real. So... If you want to get in a combo with me, just add me in the thing. Um, and if you guys know how to add a person to uh, the video, oops. Hey. Hello, sir. How are you? Doing good. How about you? Good. What's your name? Jonathan. Jonathan. And where are you from, Jonathan? What's that? I think they're glitching out. Where are you they're from? Yeah. Jonathan. So I live in Columbia, South Carolina. South Carolina. And what do you know? Can you hear me, brother? I can hear you. In and out. So we're going to move on from Jonathan. We're going to move on to... Who are we going to move on with? Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, so, sorry guys, Ben, yo, what's good, bro? So, you've been talking about this coronavirus for months now, right? Yeah. What can you tell uh, the people online who are wondering what they should do, how serious this is, and what precautions they should be taking? I mean, it, it, it's really serious, you know what I'm saying? It's like, for the most part, someone like you, um, who's in good health and everything else, you could fight this off. And if, you know, you don't have any pre-existing, you know, conditions like heart disease, any kind of health issues, you know, two weeks and, you, you know, you, either it could be super mild, it could feel like a little bit of a flu, or it could feel really bad and your lungs could shut down and it, it affect your entire respiratory. Someone like me who's in his late 40s or someone, you know, like in their 50s, 60s who got, who's not in great health or anything else, it could just shut them down completely. And then they'd be in ICU and they would need, you know, assistance through IV and everything else. Um, one thing I read about the people in China and the people in Korea that they've been using vitamin C, no joke, high dosage, you know, high milligram vitamin C. And it's been cutting down uh, sickness time, even with older people to like eight days. Um, some people are getting I got a drip today. Days, I got a vitamin high. I got high dose vitamin C today. Yeah, man, it's good stuff. 
Have but, you, done you know, that realistically, yet? Um, I mean, it's simple. For right now, you know, because we're so behind and Americans just, they feel so privileged, you know, you just got to stay indoors and quarantine. You know, my oldest son, he has respiratory illness, so I'm really scared for him to get it because the chances of him living, you know, is, is not good with him to get it. So we tested him last week because he got sick. But you got to remember, some of these people, they're reckless. They're not thinking about it. Then they bring it home to their grandparents. They bring it home to one of their friends. It's a smoker. I got a friend of mine who's 38 years old, and he got it, and his lungs are shut down. So he's in Tarzana right now dealing with it. Well, Ben, I just want to say thank you. I want to say thank you for bringing awareness to people and letting people know how serious this is. Um, I'm going to keep talking with different people, but thank you so much for your insight. Ben. Come on, I love you, bro. All good. I love you, bro. Love you, bro. All right. Scooter, what are we doing here? What do you know about the um, what insight can you tell people about what's going on right now and what they can do to protect themselves or to protect their loved ones? That's the question. Um, I think, look, the majority of people that follow you are in an age range where the chance of this virus killing them is actually very small. But everybody in your age range has people that they love, whether it be their parents or their grandparents or a friend who's diabetic or someone like you who has Lyme disease, mm -hmm. who is immunocompromised. Mm -hmm. And 50 to 80% of people who get this virus don't show symptoms, and that's why it's traveling so fast. So when you and your friends are hanging out and saying, oh, we're going to meet up, we're going to do like a little party at the house or something, and you're hanging out and you're having a couple drinks, and then you go back to your families you might feel perfectly fine, but you're putting everyone in your family at risk. Mm -hmm. And I, my favorite thing I saw is somebody wrote, um, my grandparents went to war to, you know, to fight something. All I need to do is sit my ass at home. Yeah. You know? And I think what everyone really needs to be doing is taking in consideration not themselves, but people that they love. You, know, you love Nick Jonas. Love you him. love some Nick Jonas. Love him. Nick Jonas has diabetes. Yeah. You know, like... You love Nick Jonas. You're going to keep your ass yeah. at home. I love Absolutely. you. Absolutely. You know, you have Lyme disease. My grandfather, my grandfather also has uh, diabetes. So, yeah. yeah. So, you know, I think people just need to understand, like, this is showing us that, you know, this, a virus doesn't understand borders. A virus doesn't understand, you know, anything, but this is a human person and I'm going in there. And right now, the, the blessing in this is that young kids aren't affected. So I got three young kids, and I don't have to worry as much about them. But I am doing my part. I'm completely quarantined. Awesome. I've made sure I have food for my family. And, awesome. you know, what I, what I think people can be doing, you posted and I posted it. There's a lot of kids in inner city areas and rural areas that really depend on public school service for their food. Mm -hmm. And, you know, Save the Children is doing some amazing stuff. Um, Baby to Baby is doing amazing stuff. And what people really need to be doing, if they have the means – is being able to donate to make sure that these kids have meals and that, you know, people have the proper ability to, to feed their children in a time where, you know, so many people are one disaster away from, from not having an income. And right now we're in a real disaster and a lot of people are going to be hurting beyond a disease financially. And we got to look out for each other. So um, I think it's really great that you're doing this. People need to wash their hands. They need to stay six feet away from each other. Mm -hmm. And if, you know, do your part. Do your part. Stay at home and, and honor the people that have to work, the people in hospitals, doctors, nurses, you know, people who have to go out there and don't flood them with sick people because you're being irresponsible. Do your part because right now we can handle this virus, but we need to slow it down so our health care can actually handle it. And I think what you're doing by raising awareness is awesome. And people just need to spread the word of, yeah, it might not be here, but you know when it's there? When it affects someone that you love. Mm -hmm. and, and if that day comes, you're not going to like it. So I think mm -hmm. we all just need to sit at home and realize that, you know, this is going to affect the entire world and we're just getting started.
Mm-hmm. This is probably going to affect, the, just in America alone, it's probably going to affect 150 million Americans by the end of the year. Damn. And we see what's going on in Italy. And, you know, we've seen what's happened in China. Now we're seeing every other country around the world. Mm-hmm. And I think um, people should just do what they can to be supportive of each other. Put whatever BS you got out to the side. And we all need to come together as a humanity. Mm-hmm. Thanks, Scooter. Love you, bud. Great Love job. Bye. Bye. Wise words from Scooter Braun. Do that.